Hey everybody, I'm going to today. Today we're going to be showing off the new Jet Striker rework. Uh, the first thing you'll probably notice is that they changed up the visual. It's a lot more low key now and it's not as obvious to people looking at you. Um, I don't really mind the rework uh, to the visual, but anyway, let's actually get into the main things, which is the two mantras and the actual new talents that they dropped. So Jet Kick, uh, jet kick is basically like, it's just a kick that it's kind of it's kind of like just critter leap honestly and it is supposed to change whenever you're in combat and i think at max momentum but i honestly didn't notice the main difference at max momentum i think it does more damage right but go ahead and hit me real quick so you'll see that whenever i'm actually uh what's got in combat i can't use jet kick to actually go like further and this is actually so that they didn't just give like jet strike or free mobility move because it actually does take you pretty far so whenever you're actually in combat with jet kick you actually need to target an opponent um, otherwise it won't work so as you guys can see here my mouse is over him and you can see like the little mouse thing show up and as you guys can see there you guys go it showed up the next one is fake strike now fake strike does like a fake m1 so this is a real m1 this is a fake m1 and it does three kicks right now these three kicks actually do a good bit of damage i think if you land all of them it's like 70 to 80 damage so it's like 25 per i think right which is pretty good honestly um but the thing is that your opponent can dodge them and parry them so go ahead and like just move out the way whenever i land them um as you guys can see right they're not always guaranteed to hit. I think the first one might be, but as for the second and third one, I think those can be parried. Now let's actually get into the talent reworks. As you guys can see, you guys can see a momentum bar on the left. It doesn't really, uh, it's not really like the old Jess record anymore. You can't just like do like the running attack thing, but you still do have decisive wins with you uh, able to do these like little dashes and of course being able to use strata stuff. But the thing is with this strata stuff is that the people can follow your strata stuff, right? So it's kind of like wind step, right? Where other people are able to go on top of your wind step. So um, yeah, just keep that in mind. It's not gonna be as good for track starting vertically anymore. Now let's actually get into the talents. The main thing that they added was vanishing follow-up for those who played verse one and remember yes vanishing follow-up uh, follow was back so as you guys can see um i flourish him and i teleport to him and it also gives me uh, more momentum whenever i land it which is pretty cool so you can just do like a little like cool thing like this and then oh i, I guess there's a cooldown right here yeah gesture and pursuit there is a bit of a cooldown but um yeah so you can do like little combos like in verse one like you used to do the second one is that if you hit somebody from the back right as you guys can see attacking from the back it gives me max momentum and steals some of his momentum so it slows him down a bit um pretty useful against other jet striker players as for other players i guess it's useful if they're trying to run away and they're trying to do like the little jump dash thing if that makes sense um but yeah for the most part i think that's pretty much actually everything about jet striker right if i look at all the talents here you will get everything whenever you rejoin right um, but for the most part they kept pretty much everything the same they still have this talent which i think is not really that crazy decisive wins but than that, yeah, that's pretty much everything for the Jet Striker rework. I just think that max momentum gives you more damage on your actual uh, kicks. And um, besides that, dude, yeah, that's pretty much everything about Jet Striker. So let's go into some chime matches. All right, yeah, we're back into it. You know what I mean? Get the go lunge right there. Nice. All right, so let's try build some momentum up. Use a jet kick real quick. Okay, that... Uh, it, I don't even think he dodged it. I just don't think it connected, which is a bit weird because... Supposed to target him, but whatever. The kill lunge. Nice little combo right there into the jet kick. Nice into the tempest. Oh, uh, he vented. Jet kick right there. Oh, dude. When it does like actually auto track onto him nicely, like that's actually really handy. Um, and it's again, it's supposed to be a, like a nice catching tool. Ooh, into the astral. The wind gun right there into the jet kick. Oh, what? Okay, we ran into his rising thunder there. And that's the end of that. All right, not too bad for our match right here. Let's try a couple more. Try landing the fake strike more because I feel like we should be able to hit like a fake strike into like a rising one after. So let's get into our next match. All right, this time guys, we're gonna try and use, uh, what is it called? Fake strike a little bit more so we can, I don't know, just kind of see how to use him, just become a little bit better at it. I was using it last time. Oh wait, that actually landed, but my footage didn't save, bro. So nice. To the rising into the jet crit oh what the okay that is weird so i think what happened was like the jet strike after or the jet kick i mean after we uh like i don't know it i i actually can't i can't even explain it. i gotta focus up bro let's fake strike here okay so it seems like most of the time they parry like the last one seems like the first two though we were gonna get off and i think like each hit does around maybe if i had to say about like um ooh, ooh, oh what Okay, so that time, like, for some reason, the Jet Strike just, or the Jet Strike didn't, like, work. I have no clue why. Like, I did not do anything to cancel that. All right. Fake Strike here. Into the critical. Paint that. Nice. 
into the rising here. Ah, uh, we missed. Nice, and that's the end of that match right there again. Honestly, starting to get a little bit better at trying to land the fake strike, but most of the time they're just going to be able to parry the third or maybe even second one uh, based on like how good you're probably fighting your opponent. Just because, I mean, it, dude, it literally looks like a real M1, it just with like a slightly different sound effect, so you're probably going to land that a lot of the time. All right, and it looks like it's going to be a mirror match. Another Jet Striker with, uh, what is it, Gale? Honestly, I can't blame you though, dude. Like, the synergy is nice. Okay, we messed that up. Hit with it with a fake hit. Nope, no, no, jet kick into that. Nice. Tempest Blitz. Dude, Tempest Blitz is so bad. Oh my goodness, bro. Actually, like the worst hybrid in the game, man. Into the Rising. Nope. Nope, predicted that. It's another jet kick right there. Ooh, okay. Two jet kicks landed. And those actually do, again, those do actually a fair amount of damage. I'm not gonna lie. It's a fake strike. Nope, we missed that. One thing I wanna try doing real quick. I want to get some momentum real quick, and then... Ooh! Yeah, I saw that? Okay. So basically what I did was I hid my animations in the Jet Striker run. Oh, he went tap. And so, like, I kind of did this, see? Right, like, I was able to kind of stack my Mantra and my Dash. Uh, and it kind of hides the animation, so that could be helpful when trying to land, like, something like the Fake Strike, because it has a really fast wind-up. So, just, just an idea for you guys to do. Alright, chat, this is gonna be our last one for now. We're gonna try and land one more, like, big-ass combo with, uh, Fake Strike, but it doesn't really look like the combo-type move, unless, like, all of them hit, but it seems like there's m on anyway. Best thing I'd say is, like, landing Jet Strike after a combo, like that, but... Yeah, it's not again. It's not really like super combo heavy, like Gale, for example, right? Nice. Ooh, ooh, that was cold actually. That that one kind of layered next to each other. This guy also seems to be running Jet Striker. Honestly, the Jet Striker visual was like a little bit hard to see, uh, but I think that's fine, honestly. As long maybe like if they make it a bit bigger, it's just a bit hard to tell. Ooh, the little fake out there. Nice. Nice. Okay, so I think I know what's going on. So the jet kick, right? The thing is, it's when you're in combat, you have to aim it, right? When you're out of combat, you'll notice you probably don't have to aim it, really. Um, and that's one big thing about jet kick. So if you're not looking at your opponent when it happens, you'll just, you won't, like, get the kick off. That's the one thing you have to, like, look out for. Nice, into the fake kick. Okay, that didn't work. And that's the end of that. Alright guys, that's probably gonna be it for this video. I'm not gonna lie. Um honestly, probably a better like jazz record player could probably do more with it. The vanishing pop is pretty cool, but I didn't land it too much in my examples. But I know for all those old verse one players you can probably do a lot oh, with it. Oh my god. But I know for all those verse one players who had vanishing follow-up, uh it's gonna be pretty good. So if you guys end up liking it, let me know in the comments below, and I'll be catching you guys later, alright? Peace.